Yo, what's good everyone? It's MJO23Dan back with another video and today's video I have a pickup for you. This is a box that I received sometime last week and it is part of my 2017 pickup list. So if you guys don't know, I am trying to complete this set before the year is over, although I don't think I'm going to be able to accomplish that. So I was on eBay and I was looking for this pair, although it's not in my size. If you guys have seen my video with the Air Jordan 11 Win Like 96, you guys know that 9.5 is not something that I'm usually going to go after. These are size 9.5. I'm still looking for a 10. I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. So at the bottom of the box, I get a thank you note. Thank you from one Jordan fan to another, D. And you can follow D at Daily Fresh Grind on Instagram. All right, so again, I found this pair on eBay and I found D uh, through eBay and his Instagram. And I decided to you know reach out and see if we can possibly do a deal. I've been looking for this pair for a little bit. And even though it's not my size, he was you know so cordial to strike up a deal with me. We got to chatting and everything like that. So it's good meeting you, bro. I guess, well, e-meeting you, if that's anything. Oh, what? All right, so, so as you guys see, there is Michael Jordan in a Wizards jersey. This looks like from the 2001-2002 season, as he has the Air Jordan 17s on. Wow, I didn't expect this, dude. Thank you so much. That's awesome. This is definitely going up here in the office. All right, so here we go. Jordan face box from the early to mid 2000s. All right, so this is the Air Jordan 15 in a size nine and a half. It is the obsidian white metallic silver. Style number is 136029, color code 411. All right, so let's check out the contents. So these again on eBay, found them dead stock. Ooh. These were 99 shipped dead stock. Again, D, thank you so much for the opportunity to purchase. Um, I know that they've been sitting for quite some time and you know, as a collector, I am looking for things like this. There is one more that I'm looking for and it is a Flint Gray Air Jordan 15. So if anybody out there has a size 10 or 10 and a half dead stock, let me know. Um, also with this nine and a half, I may possibly entertain like a size swap if you guys have a dead stock pair out there. All right, so these are definitely old school. These are from the year 2000. Nice leather up here on the Rand. You got the weave basket material, the rubber heel cup. It's got Zoom Air inside. I restored a pair. You guys can check out the card just up above and you can see how like all this is deconstructed. So uh, I felt like the Air Jordan 15 is a missed model. It is the last Air Jordan that Tinker Hatfield had designed before he stepped away from designing Air Jordans and let other designers create. There's a cool story on Netflix, I believe it's abstract, where Tinker Hatfield is talking about why this shoe was important to him. It is about the time that Bill Bowerman had passed away, I believe. So you can check out the details on Netflix. The show is called Abstract. Okay, so this is the Obsidian colorway. This has retroed in 2017. I did not pick up that retro only because I was only looking to complete this OG set. Um, I feel like, you know, even though the 15 is a great model, it feels comfortable. Uh, it is not something that I'm going to be rocking like on the daily. So, uh, you know, I, I'm just gonna appreciate the details as is. And it's just something that, you know, I'm just gonna collect. So yeah, one more colorway, the Flint Gray, size 10, 10 and a half, if you guys are out there. I got a killer deal on this. So again, thank you D from Daily Fresh Grind for hooking it up. Again, let me know what you guys think. Drop it down in the comment section below. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel at mjoe23dan. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. And as we round out 2017, there are still a few pickups that I would like to make before the year ends. I also have to make a year in review recap of all my pickups and what I'm looking forward to for Jordan Brand in the year 2018. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.